Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending December 17th. First up, I've been reporting on stories similar to this um, since I've been doing the TDD Weekly Report, and it seems just like flat screen TVs for the longest time, they were always five to ten years away, and the same thing with this story. But supposedly, they have found a thigh bone of a woolly mammoth up in Siberia, and Russian and Japanese scientists are going to work together and they're saying within maybe five years they will be able to clone a woolly mammoth so I still keep track whenever I see a story about something like that because I think it would be something really neat since woolly mammoths did roam the plains of the United States North American area and it seems likely that uh, people themselves were the cause of the woolly mammoth going extinct it would be nice to see it brought back again at least in limited numbers so I always try to follow those stories when I can this is from dailymail.co.uk and as usual all the links to the stories will be down below in the descriptions uh, another story out of Russia to their failed Mars probe that they were not able to launch out of low earth, earth orbit and get to go to the moon Phobos on Mars um, they don't have enough control on it to do anything with it so it's going to end up uh, within the next month plunging down to earth somewhere and uh, they don't really have an accurate reading of where it's possibly going to go until the last few days of orbit so it could be anywhere from approximately 51 degrees north to 51 degrees south it could scatter which is a lot of those areas are covered with land mass areas so hopefully the thing will burn up for the most part but they still think it's very possible a couple hundred pound chunk could fall down to earth supposedly uh, any toxic chemicals are enclosed in a non-destructive enough container that they will not provide uh, any kind of danger to anybody on the ground so hopefully that will come down and splash in the ocean and not be a problem for anybody to deal with here's a short video I want to show you just a clip from this is a really cool device it's a spherical flying machine that the Japanese De Ministry of Defense has developed and I just think it's kinda of really cool here's about maybe 25 30 seconds of video One, two, three, this is the world's first spherical flying machine developed by the research department at Japan's Ministry of Defense. This machine can hover like a helicopter and take off and land vertically. But because it works like a propeller plane standing vertically, it can fly forward at high speed using wings, which a helicopter can't do. This machine also has three gyro sensors, so even if it hits an obstacle, it can maintain its attitude and keep flying through automatic control. And in astronomy this week, a tough comet survives a close encounter with the sun. Comet Lovejoy, which was discovered by an Australian amateur astronomer. Believe it or not, amateur astronomers find a lot of things that are very important to astronomy science. It plunged through the corona, estimated to be somewhere around a million degrees Celsius, and came out the other side intact still. So they were expecting this thing to go through and be totally destroyed and obliterated, and it ended up surviving. This, the Astronomy News website also at the very bottom has a short video, just a few second long video, about three seconds, showing this comet passing through the sun's corona and coming out the other side and surviving. So I thought that was kind of cool. And last up, this is a freebie in case you're not aware. Some people maybe are aware, but some are not. You can actually get 25 gigabytes of online storage absolutely free and maybe even 50, 75 all you do is if you have a hotmail account you already have it or you can open up a hotmail uh, for some reason this just passed me by but for the last two years people that have a hotmail account automatically have the SkyDrive with 25 gigabytes of storage and it was called to my attention because a friend of mine Brian mentioned it in his uh, video his uh, vlog and so I went and checked and sure enough yeah it's uh, 25 gigs total storage for each account uh, maximum file size for an individual file is 100 megabytes and I opened a second account just to see if they're tracking an IP address or something and nope I had another 25 gigs of storage space on my other Hotmail account so it's basically drag and drop if you're really geeky into computers you can also map the drives although it's not a trivial thing it's kind of kludgy but you can actually map the drive so you can have it appear as an extra drive on your computer but I would say for the average computer user 
probably just use the drag and drop features of it. They also put in on the terms of service a limit how many files you can upload. They didn't say the maximum amount, but they just said they can limit if you uh, op if you upload a large amount of files during a day, they can limit your file uploads. So I guess if you have like a 10 megabyte upload speed and you're doing full full throttle stream for an entire day, they may slow you down. But uh, it seems if you stay reasonable, it's a very good. Um, very good of them to offer that much and because it's Microsoft it probably will be around a while so um, also remember any important files don't upload any kind of important private files without encrypting them first there's good encryption software out there I use TrueCrypt myself so if you've got information that you don't want anybody else to know about make sure it's encrypted with strong encryption first before you upload it for storage anywhere else so that's it for this week next week I will take a break I hope everybody has a Merry Christmas and I will see you the following week